Welcome to another midweek moment. As we enter this week of Advent, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Incline a merciful ear to our cry, we pray, O Lord, and casting light on the darkness of our hearts, visit us with the grace of your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Before getting into parish announcements, I again would like to thank everyone for your constant prayers. It has been a rough couple of weeks trying to get over the symptoms of COVID-19. But as you can see, I am doing a lot better than I had been just about a week ago. I am hoping that the worst is behind me. Now that I have completed the quarantine period and the symptoms have pretty much gone, I am gearing myself up to moving forward. I'm still conscious of the fact that I may not be 100% quite yet, and so I am trying to be aware of the need to keep things slow so that I do not run the risk of going into a relapse. Still, I am happy to, feel, to be feeling a whole lot better than I, had, than I had been just about a week ago. And perhaps the most important piece of parish information to share this week is the immediate plans for Christmas as well as for the coming weeks. As you may have heard by this time, the Archdiocese decided to close down the parish for a couple of weeks. We actually did have about seven cases of COVID among the staff alone. This is very alarming and serious, so there was no other choice but to shut down the parish for the usual two-week quarantine. This was necessary to try and contain a possible outbreak. And so the parish office and church are both closed until December 21st. We will hopefully be, begin the reopening process by December 22nd. Given the fact that we will, be only, we will only reopen days prior to Christmas, the primary concern is first of all to get the worship space and the office spaces cleaned and sanitized as quickly as possible. After that, we will concentrate our efforts on masses for Christmas. And so our plans for Christmas will be, will be altered again given the circumstances. And so, this, so we just finally decided that we will have Masses only in the church at 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. on Christmas Eve for a total of 150 people each. And then we will have a 9.30 a.m. Mass and 11.30 a.m. Mass on Christmas Day, both, again, both in the church and both for 150 people each. Again, I want to repeat that. Masses for Christmas Eve will be at 3 p.m., 5 p.m., and 10 p.m., and Christmas Day, 9.30 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. We, uh, we will again have to keep attendance down to, to, to only about 150 people for each of those Masses. Please be aware of this change. As for weekend Masses going forward, we will go down to 4.30 and 9.30 a.m. Masses until possibly the end of January. As for weekday Masses, until possibly the end of January as well, daily Masses will be celebrated privately and live streamed. We will revisit reopening daily Masses when the COVID numbers have sta stabilized a little bit more. As for the office, we will have very restricted office hours. We will have only one person in the office at a time to control any other possible outbreak. Please understand that all of these measures are meant to keep everyone safe and healthy. And as much as I would like to, keep, to offer a moment of catechesis at this time, I am again trying to make sure that I do not push myself into doing, two more, into doing more things than I, than I am capable of. And so I hope to resume the catechesis portion of the midweek moment by next week. Again, let us pray as we continue to await the coming of our Savior and whose coming is sure even, even as our times are uncertain. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach, us to, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Amen.